friends, welcome back to Dee Dee's Kitchen. Today is the 4th of July and boy, happy 4th of July to all of you. I'm excited because I'm going to a family cookout today and I don't have to cook an entire meal. All I have to do is bring a dish. So I'm gonna bring um, my famous dirty rice and I found out a little trick on how to make it. Traditionally, you get chicken gizzards, livers, you boil them. That's the old fashioned way. That's how my mom prepared it. I had a friend from Lake Charles, Louisiana share with me the trick to dirty rice and she turned me on to Savaz, I'm not sure I'm saying it correctly because it is um, Cajun, uh, dressing mix. And it is a godsend on your dirty rice. So I have all of my ingredients needed. I, I put ground beef, I put the Savaz. Let me tell you what's in there. Uh, ingredients they have a little pork chicken gizzards pork livers garlic powder onions the basic meats that you would traditionally put in the traditional preparation of making dirty rice so that's what I'll use and I have two today if you're just preparing for your family and it's an average size family uh, two to five one would be enough but I'm cooking for a large gathering so I'm gonna use two I have um, one pound of ground beef. I use lean ground beef. I'm trying something new today. You guys know this is my favorite season of all time and I'm not kicking it to the curve. I'm actually gonna use both of them. But I went to a family member's house and she turned me on to slap your mom up. And I like the seasoning. So I'm gonna use both of these. So that will be a new addition to my recipe. A little red pepper, just a little oil for my skillet, some garlic powder, some thyme, black pepper, little Worcestershire sauce for my meat. And you all should know by now, my favorite, this is um, Creole seasoning. It's carried at H-E-B. And it takes a lot of the time out of having to dice your vegetables, but it also has that Creole flavor with garlic and parsley, celery, white onions, I think, and some green onions in here. So the first thing I wanna do, I'm going to put a little oil. I'm gonna turn my skillet on medium high medium high with a little oil for my meat. You're gonna brown your meat. Just a little bit. Break it up. What I like about the boys, they have that seal pr protector. I've already broken the seal on this one. And this is what it looks like on the inside. And this is some good stuff for your dirty rice. All right, I'm gonna open the second container that I have. Maybe this is what, um, Bluebell needs to do with their ice cream with all the stuff that's been going on with people tampering with our famous Bluebell ice cream here in Texas. The seal on it where it has to be broken. That's a good idea. The Savage mix is 16 ounces. So I'm using two pounds of Savage dressing mix. Good thing about this company, you can order it online and they'll ship it to you. SavoysFoods.com. It's carried here in our local HEB, one of my uh, frequent stores, but you can go online and order that. And for those of you who have seen my jambalaya recipe, they also carry Savoy and Dewey sausage that you can have shipped to you for your jambalaya. You notice I have not put any seasoning in yet. The Savoy mix actually has some. I'm going to do it after I drain the fat off of the meat. You'll see me add my seasoning. All right, if you notice as I'm browning the meat, it has a large amount of broth on it and that comes from the Savoy's dressing mix and the 92 percent ground beef what i'm going to do i'm going to drain this meat in colander but you bet your bottom dollar i'm going to save some of this broth to go in and help flavor my rice not all of it because we don't want just major artery clogs but i am going to use some of it to help flavor my rice along with some chicken broth okay all right while my meat is draining I have my skillet again on like medium high. Some of the milk, um, meat residue is there, that's okay. I'm put a little butter in here. I'm going to saute my Creole mix. I'm gonna use about half cup of this. I'm going to add some minced garlic, about a half a tablespoon. And my Dirty rice mix, I've added some olive oil to go and get these Creole seasoning mixed vegetables. Mm, 
good. It smells delicious already. Now, I forgot to tell you in my ingredients segment when we were looking at what I'm using, I do use low sodium, half a cup of chicken broth, some minced prepared garlic. You can use fresh garlic if you have that as a choice. And you use your rice. You cook your rice according to the package or according to how you know how to cook rice. Right now, my meat is drained. My meat is drained. I'm returning it back to the skillet with the diced Creole mix. I'm going to mix it up real good. I did save some of the broth from the meat. I'm going to use maybe about a fourth of it, a fourth to a half. Pour in my chicken broth, about a half a cup of that. And now I'm going to add my seasoning. Traditionally, I don't measure. I just season until I... Get a good feel. I would say maybe two tablespoons of the Tony's, about a tablespoon of the <clears throat> Worcester sauce. Put some thyme in there, about a half a teaspoon of thyme. A little cracked pepper, just a little bit. A few sprinkles of red pepper. For those that like it spicy, you can put more. I think I want to use about half a teaspoon of this slap your mama's in there your burners on low just letting your seasonings simmer and get deep into your meat flavor do that maybe for about three or five minutes I'm gonna taste it to make sure this is the flavor I want see if I need to add anything you notice I did not add salt I put salt in last because sometimes you don't need salt but I'll check and see if it needs it I know it doesn't need any salt. All right, three to five minutes is all you need, and then you're gonna pour it into your already prepared rice. I'm going to pour in my meat mixture into my already prepared rice. Um, if anyone wants to know what brand of rice, I like to use Zatarain's long grain rice. So give me a minute, my arm is a little weak. I'm gonna put this in here slowly and mix it up well. Now, take your strength, big spoon, stir it, mix it up real good um, till all of your meat and rice is blended in very well. So give me a minute because I need to use both arms to really put my muscle in here and mix it in. You don't want to get to the bottom of your pot and you see some rice that has not been mixed in. Just going to sample it. You can put some of the fresh Creole seasoning vegetables mix on top for a little garnish, give a little color. And let's see. All right, well, here is my finished dirty rice. And I just thought about something. Remember I told you about the Savoy's dressing mix that I use. I want to give a big hug, virtual hug, out to my um, first year of teaching mentor, Miss Patsy Shelton. She was the one that turned me on to that. So this video is just for you, Patsy. Dirty rice. And as always, I believe in tasting my finished product. So let's see. Smells good. Mmm. That's divine. It's delicious. As I mixed the meat mixture with the rice, I didn't add anything else to it. You can taste it before you serve and see if it has enough uh, flavor for you. It was perfect just the way it was. So I didn't add anything to it. It's delicious. So, this... Fourth of July, I want you to have a safe Fourth of July with your friends and family. I have more videos coming, and thanks for joining me. Bye.